Hey you, this is Jasim from Codeband and this video, as you might have seen in the thumbnail, we are gonna be starting a new series called Python Automation. So a lot of people requested me to do some series of videos typically in uh, a Django based project or building REST APIs and so on. So one of them was this one, the Python Automation and I choose this one as the first series because this one is a lot more interesting to work with so we'll be actually doing the other parts the Django projects and the uh, REST APIs in, in future and or in upcoming uh, videos but the as the first series will be starting the Python automation so um, in this video we are actually gonna be talking about uh, three things so the first one being what is automation and the second one why automation and the third and most important one is in my personal experience where I have used this automation so some of the real-life scenarios in which I used automation to solve those problems so that would be the most interesting part of this video so with that being said uh, if you are new to our channel please do subscribe our channel and click the bell icon near to it so without any further let's jump right into it Alright guys, so the first thing I'm gonna be discussing is what is automation? So let me do a quick Google search on that. So if I say like what is automation, then um, you can see the Wikipedia result over here. Automation is the technology by which a process or procedure is performed with minimal human assistance. So as it says, the work that we usually do um, is being exposed to a machine so that the machine do that work and we can just uh, sit idle or we can just concentrate on some other core parts of our work so that's what is the automation stands for now the second part is why automation so again it says like labor saving technology over here so that's exactly it is we can save a ton of time with this automation stuff so we can uh, otherwise concentrate on the core parts and the time consuming part will be um, executed by the machine itself so that we can just sit idle or as I said before we can just concentrate on other parts so that's what is the uh, kind of um, why you should use automation and now the most important part of this video where I have used this automation in real-time scenario so honestly I have used this in a lot of time in a lot of times and in a lot of scenarios so um, uh, I cannot include all of them in a single video but still uh, I'll talk about two of the most important uh, places where I used this automation. So the first thing was uh, uh, related to this current situation so uh, and the COVID-19 pandemic uh, related automation. So uh, in our area there are many COVID cases so by the way I'm from India so uh, we need to actually collect those data so the data of primary contacts secondary contacts the um, people from the flight data and all those data we need to collect those and we need to submit that to a state government's portal so um, there were uh, tons of uh, data so maybe 10,000 or 20,000 at times so we need to we, we, we collect those data and we need to now submit those data to the portal so um, to be precise it will take about two or three minutes to submit a single data so if we're doing it manually you can uh, imagine Imagine how much time it would take to actually uh, submit the entire 10,000 data so there I made a boat I made an automation stuff and uh, it'll actually take in those data and it will automatically submit that data into the portal so it will take approximately two or three seconds to submit one data versus the um, two or three minutes to submit so you can imagine that time gap so um, that uh, gives us a ton of time to spend on other important areas without uh, concentrating on this uh, time consuming task so that was the first automation now the second one was like the whatsapp automation where we kind of when i started this youtube channel then 
um, I have to forward my video so whenever I upload a new video I have to forward that to some group so say for example I have 50 groups in WhatsApp I cannot actually broadcast the, uh, the message into 50 groups at the same time um, and there is no way at present for that and I made a boat so that um, that that automation stuff can um, can, can take in that message and it can send those message that message to 50 groups simultaneously so it'll take maybe a minute or two to actually send those messages and we cannot uh, and uh, I can just concentrate on some other words in the meantime so that's where the second uh, automation stuff uh, comes into play now uh, in this uh, series we'll talk about all of these steps so automatic form submission the first one I talked about and the second one WhatsApp automation and much more like Instagram automation Google search automation um, LinkedIn automation and a lot of other stuff so we'll start right from the basics right from installation and then we'll go uh, one level up in each video so we'll be actually dealing with um, some projects in each of the videos so that we get an idea about how you can use those automation in real-time scenarios so um, uh, I hope uh, this is the end of the video and if you have any sorts of suggestions or uh, any issues in this video or in particular about the series please do let me know in the comment section so that I can improve those things in the future videos and uh, if you like the video please don't forget to hit the like button and share it to your connections as well so that's it guys um, that's all about the video um, thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one